Hi everybody and welcome to this pixeldatabase.net tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you some simple background removal. So I'm going to select this image here. What I'm making here, this is iClone which is the 3D animation software that I use. I had this little box here, I'm making a fireworks show so I thought rather than start the fireworks show I would have my character kind of row by close to the camera in the boat with just a box that says no smoking and then have the character in the boat kind of go over to another part of the image like an island or a barge and then start the fireworks show but I wanted to put no smoking on the box so you don't really get a clue it's fireworks you just know it's a box at the beginning when I when the camera first goes by so to do that I'm gonna go over to pixeldatabase.net so I have my little no smoking image now I was too cheap to buy a stock photo usually I buy a hundred at a time but I just went down to zero when I bought the cardboard for the box so what I want to do here is just say hide pixels where and if you look at the white it's going to be 765 and the red is less than 300 so I was just doing a real simple hide pixels where and that gives me a transparent version of that image so that's pretty simple I'll just download that and I'll call this no smoking transparent and now what I want to do for the iClone users that might watch this, most of you may know this, but if you don't, if you ever want to get the UV map for your prop, I don't know which one of these six sides is the side facing the box. Luckily, there's only six. Before I do that part, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the black so I can make an overlay so I can place my texture over it and see where to put my fireworks. I'll show you here. Just, I'll save this, call this, let me go to temp, UV. I'll just call this UV black and I want it to be a PNG. It's a really big image. So now I'm going to open this up in pixeldatabase.net. This is the exact opposite of the query we just did. Total is going to be zero for all the black, but this is going to be quite a bit brighter. So all you have to do is say hide total less than 20. It's a pretty big image, so give that a second. I could even undo that. I'm going to try 10 just to see if they knew that purple, because last time I did this, it was kind of light. I'm going to download that. I'll call that UV transparent or UV black transparent. Now what I want to do, I am going to go back over to paint.net, which is my free graphics program of choice. I'm going to just open up my little cardboard texture that I have. Paste. Now I can tell where on my cardboard image to put my fireworks logo is why I did that. You don't have to do that if you can eye it but to me it's easier to kind of have this little overlay and then I can go to my fireworks if I open that and I'll just say no smoking transparent say like this I want to create another layer okay now that is very small but that's okay because it's it's only going to show up on one of the sides and I'm going to kind of size it it's already selected but I want the selection to be a little bigger select this right here and now I can I want it to be a little bit at an angle and I think that's a little bit too big. I'm going to make it something like that. Big enough the camera can see it above the boat as it goes by but not so big that it's not real. Now what I want to do, I am going to get rid of my UV layer which is this one. I'm going to get rid of that and I want to collapse this to one layer I'm just going to say save as and I'll say see put it back in temp where I'm working call it a PNG and I'm going to call this cardboard with no smoking so I can tell it apart and now sorry flatten give this all a second it's a huge image I could work with smaller images to make it faster now over here in iClone what I want to do is select my little box I want to modify the image so instead of using that one which is in my textures folder I want to go to this one and I want to say cardboard with no smoking 
And let's see if I guess the right size. Amazing, one and six. I don't really like it. Let me go look at it and and kind of zoom. I guess it's not so bad if you get a little closer. So that wasn't probably perfect, but that's kind of a way you can transparent image that I got from Google Image and put it on here. I may play around with it and try to make it look a little bit more realistic or do some things to it. Maybe put a little bit of wear or something on it. But that was my quick little tutorial of how to make some simple background removals and how to apply that to iClone if you're an iClone user. And look forward to my fireworks video coming up if I can finish it in the next 10 days or so. All right, well, have a great day and thanks for watching.